Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the new game Mordo. Uh, first of all, we will start with the resolution. I'm playing 1080p. Uh, if after all the changes I will show you, uh, you still don't get your 60 FPS in 1080p, for sure you will need to lower your resolution. It's pretty much the same thing with resolution scale. Don't touch it, just stay at 1. This is a last resort if after all the changes I will show you, um, you're still not you don't get your 60 or your 144 you can lower this one at like 0.95 or even 0.90 but you will see that your image quality will decrease a lot frame rate limit right now I'm using the maximum but probably I will put it at 144 to match my 144 Earth screen because I don't want to render frame uh, because I don't need it uh, field of view it's like preference I'm using uh, 90 so uh, before that, I start with the graphic pa parameter. Um, after we will start with the game, so all the in-game settings that we can change, and after that we can go to config file and uh, remove stuff like shadow and uh, other effect in the game that will give you uh, a lot of FPS. So uh, we have two step here to boost your FPS. So first of all, anti-aliasing. Use FX AA. This this is a good compromise between temporal or just removing it. Uh, you will see that the game looks like shit when you're removing it. So use FX AA. You will gain 3% here, temporal to FX AA. Texture quality, it depends on your VRAM. I have 8 gig of VRAM, so I don't really mind. Honestly, 4 gig and more play ultra. 3 gig high, 2 gig medium. Less than 2 gig, go with low. Effect quality, I'm using medium, but if you see that at medium, when you're fighting, you're getting a lot of drop of FPS, uh, lower this to low. Uh, it's all those visual, um, like, uh, uh, defects, density, screen space, effect, and stuff like that, particle. So, uh, really important, lower this if you're still, um, you see drop when you're fighting. Shadow quality and direct sh uh, shadows. Uh, uncheck this, put this one at low, and after that, in the config file, I will show you how to remove shadow. But just this, you will gain 10 to 12% of uh, increase of your FPS. Don't, uh, it's really, really important to uh, boost this. Uh, view distance, same thing, really important. Play at medium, you don't need high or ultra, and this uh, th this take a lot of resources to render uh, the view distance, so use medium. Um, really important if you have like an integrated video card, you're playing on a laptop and stuff like that, don't go too crazy with the, um, those graphic parameters. This, this game takes a lot of resources when you put everything at ultra. Post-process quality, I'm putting at medium because it's using a lot of different uh, post-processing. Even if you remove like the, um, the, the bloom or uh, the, um, what is it called, the motion blur, I still see some when you're playing at high and ultra. So go with medium and low and for each bracket you will gain like 2% of FPS so you can have a nice game with the post-process quality. Foliage density, really important, put this one at low, 2% for each bracket, so an, an, again, a nice gain, it, it doesn't decrease too much your uh, image quality. Uh, character quality, you will not see a big boost here, like 1% for each bracket. Uh, after that, character clut, uh, if you don't have like a really good CPU, this one can help you, uh, just put no clut, so you don't want to use like physic on uh, the character clut, so uh, really important. Ragdoll, pretty much the same thing. If you don't have a good CPU, just put this one at low. Screen space reflection, remove completely this effect in the game. All this reflection uh, is taking a lot of resources, so put this one at off. After that, Bloom. Uh, this is more like an effect. Bloom and Motion Blur, it's more like, do you like it or not? You will not see a big de uh, increase or decrease in your FPS, so uh, it's more like it's a preference. And... Ambient Occlusion and Lens Flare, remove those one, you will gain 2% here and 1% for your Lens Flare. So that's about it with the graphic uh, parameter inside of the game. Now let's go to the uh, config file. So now the config file, uh, we need to go to uh, the user, the C drive, users, name of your computer, app data, local, mordo, save, config, Windows client. After that, you need to look at the game user setting, double click on it and you will have all the parameter inside of the game. The one that you will need to change is shadow. Put this one at zero, you will gain another three to 4% of increase for your FPS. So this will completely remove the shadow. Inside of, of the game, you can't like use low, but you will still see some shadow uh, on the ground when you're playing it. 
if you're using the zero here, it will remove the shadows. The only other thing that you need to make sure it's the use HDR display output. Make sure this one is at false. I, uh, in the past, I had some issue with like No Man's Sky. It was uh, true by default and I was using like 20 to 10, 30 FPS. <laughs> so uh, really important, make sure this one is at false. After that, save. And really important, you need to block this file. So game user setting, right click on it, properties, click read only and press OK. So you will need to, it, this will make sure that uh, the game will not override the, the file. Uh, I did a test and when you close the game, it will override your file. So make sure that you put the file in read only to, uh, to block it. So that's about it, guys. If you have any questions, just come in in the YouTube section. Post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.